I'm so excited because this is my first video of 2023 and I'm so grateful that I made it into the new year and you guys should be grateful too that you made it into 2023 because a lot of people didn't make it into 2023 and it's you know sad but just be grateful that you're still alive and you're still here um so let's get started because i'm so excited i've had crawfish in a long time so i always when i get crawfish i always get cajun i love crawfish oh crap but i have eggs these eggs are from um from home because instead of paying extra money i could have i just boiled it here and then i got potatoes all right let's get started and i got my water i should move it okay i haven't had crawfish in a long time i'm so excited mm.
Mm. This is so good. I haven't had this in a long time. seafood videos because it's what gets me the most views normal thing because 
everybody hates seeing and hearing their self. Like nobody likes to hear their voice.
classes with my friends, but I'll have a teacher in a class with me. Nope. Nope. They put me in a class with other kids. And it's like elementary school. You know how in elementary school you're in the same class all day? That's how basically how it is. You're in the same period all day. So, it sucks because in ninth grade it was worse because I'm not trying to make this in a rude way, but I'm not trying to sound rude at all. I just don't know how other else to say it. But since I was in the IEP class, I, it's basically a special education class. So I was in a, a class with kids that I don't know how to say it, not in a mean way, but I was more of like, a, no, I shouldn't say it like that, not, like, of course they were normal kids, everybody's human, but I was more like, I could like, ugh, I don't know how to say it, like I was more independent, kind of, like I was kind of like the other kids. and stuff and throw tantrums like that kind of special kind of me I was I, I'm like a normal high school kid I just need help with learning I'm a little slower but they had different like like some of the kids had um like anger issues um they would just like get mad easily like they so they had to be in those type of classes but me i was kind of like a normal like i'm not trying to make it sound mean but I, if you guys get what i'm trying to say because i really don't know how to explain it but i was kind of like i didn't really need to ask like be up to teachers but but i they i Oh, ouch, that freaking, that hurt. So last year, I kind of felt like I was around a whole bunch of babies. No offense, okay? But there was like nobody like me. But I still have so much fun. Like the teachers make it, make it fun. Like no. Other kids that are not in IEP, they don't get to have parties. They don't get Chick Fil A. The teachers don't buy them Chick Fil A. We don't. The teachers don't like my teachers because they're basically gonna be my teachers for the rest until I graduate. So my teachers like do Chick Fil A parties. We have Christmas parties. Um. Like, if we were good, they just, like, buy us stuff, get us food, and I, I, I'm, I appreciate that a lot, and, yeah, so, in ninth grade, I didn't really like my environment, because I was around the same kids, and they would just whine a lot, and there was a lot of arguments with some of the kids with other students and that's why I like this year because there's actually kids that are like me they're they're like like me I don't know how to be like say in a mean way but they're like like a normal teenager and I, I'm not trying to say normal because the other kids they were normal they're normal they're human but they acted not their age. That's a better way. So the kids I have now in my class, they're all like like me, like normal. They act their age. I'm not let me stop saying normal. That sounds mean. 
if you get what I'm trying to say is now I have kids that I can actually talk to even though I really don't talk to them I don't really talk to them I didn't really talk to anybody last year You would think since I'm in that same class with them 24-7, I would actually talk to them. But I don't. I just keep to myself. I only talk to the teacher. My teacher, Miss Morgan. And mm. she's a great teacher. So was my teacher last year. are young um, yeah like me and my teacher we make tiktoks she runs her own social media platform too so she's, I always give her advice always make TikToks in class and like most days I'm kind of like down so like when I go to school she like just brightens up my mood and instead of like me sitting at my desk during advisory to be like Jaden oh do you want to make a TikTok oh Jaden do you want to help me with this yeah so I really appreciate being in that class do I like being in that program no would I rather be with my friends and go to the same classes with my friends yeah the only time I get to be away from that class is when I go to culinary and if I have gym or health that's when I get to get put in classes with my friends if we have the same period. But this year I have gym with basically all my friends. For the whole quarter. Since we're all in CTC. They just keep us in the same gym class. year since when you're in ninth grade at my school when you're in ninth grade at my school you can't do CTC you have to wait until you're in 10th grade to start but you already get put in you already get put in CTC so when you're in 10th grade you go for 10th grade so, last year, I was in the same class all day for seven periods. I hated it so much. I was bad last year. My mom wanted to send me to a boarding school. <laughs> and then my mom made me do a sport, volleyball. And I hated it. And now I have a weird love-hate relationship with it because I've been thinking about it. Like, I don't, I'm still thinking if I want to do volleyball this year. But that's kind of going to be embarrassing because I used to, like, talk about how much I hated it to my teachers. And then I'm just going to go back and do it again. I just 
hate going to practice every single day after school, especially being tired. And my, the reason why my mom put me in volleyball is because I would sleep all day because I'm depressed. I would just sleep all day. Literally, I would come home at 3, even though school ends at 2. No, 1.50. 151 and the buses would take forever so I would get home around 2 or 3 and I wouldn't usually eat and I would just literally go in my room and sleep until 9 it was bad oh crap I just got that on me yeah so I was sleeping all day every day My mom made me do a sport. And I didn't talk to none of the kids on the volleyball team. Because they would be like, oh, a freshie. Because I was the only freshman. Even though I'm supposed to be, even though when I was in ninth grade, I was supposed to be in 10th grade. But whatever. It didn't really bother me because you can't really bully me. I'll just say stuff back and be more mean to you. Like, that's why sometimes you'll be seeing me get mad in the comments. I don't usually reply to the comments, but sometimes you guys think that you know me. Like, the video I did with Messiah, you guys were like, Oh my gosh, you're so mean to him. Because I wasn't even being mean to him. Like, I love that kid so much. And you, you see a couple clips, okay? But I wasn't being mean. He spilled the drink. I was shocked. I was like, Messiah. I wasn't mad at him. But he thought I was mad at him. I was just like upset that the drink spilled. But you guys wanna be crybabies. Not all of you guys. But but I love that kid. He's, he's my child. And I do so much things with him. If I was mean to him, I wouldn't why not? If I was mean to him, I wouldn't be asking to. I wouldn't be asking his mom to bring him to my house every weekend. I wouldn't babysit him all the time in the summer. I I spend so much time with him. I wouldn't buy him toys. I wouldn't have a balloon fight, a water balloon fight with him in my backyard. But I don't need to address myself. enjoyed going to the games. 
abuse and stuff and I never talked to anybody I, I was kind of just to myself that's how I usually am cause growing up I never really had friends like my older sister around my age she would be going to sleepovers sleepovers like hanging out with her friends I never really do that like in, in elementary school I never hung out with any of my friends after school only if it was which was rare but one time we had a one time we had a um a Halloween party at my elementary school and I hung out. My friends obviously were there, but I just started like actually hanging out with the friends. But that's only in the summer. I don't really go out when it's not summer. Years since I've 
seen them. So I'm glad I got to see them. Even though I did go to Florida for a sad reason. But. When I was in Florida. I really enjoyed being around. My. My siblings. My brother. My sister. And I want to go there for, for the summer.
this is my first video in 2023. I can't believe I started 2023. Um, I don't really have any goals. I want to get closer to God, even though I always say that, but I never really put in the effort. And I want to hit 200k. Get my YouTube views back up. Figure out what I'm going to do with this dog that doesn't listen. She was doing so good. <clears throat> I actually gave her her bed back. She would just like be comfortable. She wouldn't poop and be in her cage. And now ever since two days ago, she just started pooping and being in her cage again. I This dog is driving me crazy. I really don't know what to do with her. But I can't get rid of her because I'll be depressed. And I love her so much just to do that. But I don't know. This dog will not, tr like, I'm not going to say she won't train. Because she knows not to poop in her cage. Or pee in her cage. Because she knows. She, I can tell when she does it. Even when she's out of her cage. And she doesn't really pee in the house or poop. Because I don't give her that opportunity to. But if that does happen, I can tell. Because she goes, she hides somewhere. Because I yell at her. And she'll like hide somewhere and I can tell because she's acting weird and that's how I know because she gives it off by her her body expression uh, figure out how to train this dog make more money um, more sponsorships designer I want some more designer clothes I ordered my essentials outfit um, and I want to buy some like I just want to like be luxury buy like spoil myself cuz what with what I spent with my money that I get from YouTube is I just buy it on food like here and there I'll buy which is not here and there but like last time I bought something expensive was a MacBook and a camera but that's because I need it. But, like, I don't usually buy, like, clothes with my money. I just buy it on, I spend it on food. Like, DoorDash, I had to delete it. I spent a lot of money on DoorDash this year. It's definitely over, over a thousand, for sure. So, I deleted it. But I did download it again to DoorDash this, but DoorDash needs to go. Uh, it's not going to be in my 2023 this year. I need to start. I need to start cooking my mukbangs, my mukbang food, but it's so much work. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video your thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below what other videos like Scenics. And I love you. Be safe. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.